Boys and girls, Pastor Gus, I would like to tell you a story about what they used to do in England hundreds of years ago. They used to have these big, huge parties, and they would have a lot of food to eat at these parties. At those parties, the guests would be served all kinds of fruits and salads, fruits like this, fruits and vegetables. They would be served watermelons, apples, and oranges. They'd be served roast beef and boiled fish. They would be served roasted chicken, maybe even a few sausages. And then they would have some bread and something to drink. And of course they had good desserts, plenty of good pudding and pastries. Now, that's some kind of meal, don't you think? Do you think you could eat that much food? Well, you know, usually when we go to a party, we receive an invitation. Maybe you have received an invitation to a birthday party. Well, there's a Bible story that tells us about a man who invited lots of people to a wedding feast. It was a feast like I just described to you, a big party with all this wonderful food. Anything you can possibly imagine that you would want to eat was at that party. And the man in our story, he spent a great deal of money and time preparing for this huge party, but none of the people that he invited to the party showed up. Can you imagine so many people being invited to a wonderful fancy party and no one showing up? Well, it happens sometimes. Well, do you also know that God has sent you and me and everyone an invitation to a party to celebrate every day of our lives. It's an invitation to celebrate his love and joy in our hearts, to celebrate his love and joy in our church, to celebrate his love and joy in our lives. And when we have his love and joy in us, every day seems like a big party, a big feast. God has sent you and me and everyone an invitation to celebrate his love and joy. And I hope that you will always say yes to God's invitation to celebrate Jesus in your life. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that you've given us your son, Jesus. Help us to always say yes to the invitation to celebrate your love and the presence of Jesus Christ in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you next week, boys and girls. Pastor Gus.